Canon Color Science is literally world renowned. I mean, it's legendary. People love Canon for their colors. But if you don't nail your white balance, you're not getting the most out of that epic color science. So in this video, we're gonna talk about this little white card and how using this, which would only take about a penny to make, to make sure that you nail your white balance. So to the people who were asking like, dude, do you live in a ghost town? No, I don't. I just met this guy. Never met him before. What was your name? Bradley. Bradley. Yeah, go subscribe to this man right here. He's making great content. <laughs> Now keep in mind, this is not like a really quick, slick way of doing it. This is something that I normally would use if I'm having trouble getting my white balance, or if I was in a studio to make sure that my camera is matched to my key light so I get like good skin tones. So it's super windy, wreaking havoc with both my audio and my hair. So I think we're gonna finish this back in the studio. Sorry for the lack of travel shots, I ran out of batteries. How you set your white balance to really nail it every single time. Get your camera where you want it. You frame up your shot. And what you're doing there is you're getting into the position where you have the color temperature of the light you're going to be using. And then once you've framed your shot, you wanna go into photo mode. And then you hold up your little white card in front of the camera and you take a photo. And then you go into your menus. Click the menu button, go into your first tab, your third menu item in that tab, and then the second one down, you'll see custom white balance. Press okay on that and it'll show your images, all of the photos you've taken up to that point. And you find the picture that you just took and then you press okay. It'll ask you if you wanna use that white balance data and you press okay again. Then you can either go out of that menu and switch your white balance right away to your custom or if you go back immediately to your shooting screen, you can go into your quick menu and select your white balance and you wanna go over to custom white balance. And then you press okay and that's it. You have your white balance pretty much nailed. And the reason why this is helpful, especially in somewhere like a studio environment, is that not all lights produce color properly. Some lights are a little more green, some lights are a little more magenta, and the color shifting of that light can change your colors a lot if you're just trying to use one of the presets or even the Kelvin mode. Now, if you have a bunch of different lights that you're always shooting by, say you have a couple of different studios that you shoot in various times and they all have a little bit different of lighting, one thing that you can do is you can take your little card and take the pictures with it. You can set that custom white balance. Or what you can do is you can actually take the card and figure out what is your Kelvin value for that card and then write it on the back. You can write the name of your location and then the Kelvin value. That way you have a quick reference card for your white balance. Now, why did I make this short little video about getting your white balance? It's because it's very important. And I see quite often people bragging about the Canon color science, but then the white balance is off. And so they look green or they look magenta. If you're not nailing your white balance, then you're not making the most of your Canon color science. Now, of course, you can correct white balance in post-production, but every step that I can save in the production that saves me time in post-production is worth it. And this tip, in my opinion, is invaluable. If you're having trouble with white balance, take a photo, put in the custom white balance, and you'll know that you have it. And I think that's where I'm gonna leave it. Now, probably a lot of you already knew about this feature, but if you like this video, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel for more content like this. I'll see you all in the next video.